All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create uh, a curtain wall system. Um, so to do that, uh, well, let's just look at the images for a little bit um, so we can just kind of understand what we're trying to do. So if we look at uh, the building, we have we have this kind of scenario and not that this is really a curtain wall um, in a traditional sense but what you're going to find with the curtain wall family uh, or tool is that it really allows you to do a lot of uh, different things rather than just a curtain wall i mean more the more traditional kind of curtain wall system would be this although that's probably a storefront but a similar idea so the idea with the curtain wall is that you have repeating vertical and horizontal uh, elements and that using the curtain wall you can customize each of those elements um, to create a, basically a system. And within that you also have panels that you can um, either for, you know, in this case appear to be just a glass panel, in this case it's a framed uh, aluminum frame uh, with two um, glass panels uh, and in specifically this individual panel it's a door so um, the curtain wall allows you to kind of work in that kind of system where you have um, components and panels uh, inside of the components so all right that's our job right now is to create that uh, so we have these two bays that we're going to put a curtain wall. So a curtain wall is is a very specific wall. Um, you'll find it under architectural wall. And you have to um, scroll down here to the bottom and you'll find curtain wall. All right. You can also create it using a curtain system. Uh, but that's really using, as you can see, on more complex forms um, and on, on faces. Um, the grid, we'll use some of these tools later, allows you to just within an opening create a grid. And then the mullion is literally that, it's like helping you actually then define the various mullions. Um, uh, from that grid that you created. So this is really the process left to right. Um, but to initiate it, you can also just use curtain wall. And we will go probably better to go into level one and do that. And then we'll go from kind of here to there. And we get highlighted walls overlap, blah, 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 blah. All right, so it had an issue. We will select that, and I think we'll go from level one. I didn't, I wasn't very good about defining its top. So I want to do a top set. This will be 12 feet, so do note that. Go 12 feet. That's odd. All right, so let's see why it still thinks Oh, I'm sorry. So I'm going to go from level one and then 12 foot offset. How about that? Okay, so what we're going to do to make sure that it appears is that we're going to edit the type. And you should see um, this curtain wall. Now let's remember to duplicate so that if you had any other curtain walls, um, uh, you don't change those inadvertently. And we'll say OK. So coffee shop, curtain wall, three bay. And you're going to see this automatically embed. So let's just go ahead and say OK. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on unconnected for the top constraint. So we've already given it a height of 12 feet 
and then it automatically embeds. So it, it ripped right through the wall, as it were, and here we are.